Elliot Grinch. All right, what's going on, everyone? Elliot Grinch here, back with another Ellis PDFR GTA 5 patrol or tutorial, rather, not a patrol, <laughs> but a tutorial. And um, in this tutorial, in case you're not aware, there may be some people already who know about this, but in LSPDFR 0.4, we get a lot of um, more customizable options. Um, so I'm going to show you how to add your own station. You can pretty much add a station location wherever you choose. All you need are the coordinates. Um, and that's pretty much it. The location of where you want the garage, what they call a garage, which is where the car, where you, you'll appear inside the car at that particular location, as well as where you want to um, position where you can go on duty at when entering the station, quote unquote, as well as um, adding the jail drop offs. Now, the only thing is with LSPDFR 0.4, that is not the it, it does not allow you even though it allows you to add a jail drop-off location it does not perform a jail drop-off location for that you're going to have to use arrest manager by Albo until maybe you know Bajojo may um implement that into stop the ped somehow because i know he was able to um implement jail drop-offs but he doesn't add customizable jail drop-offs Unfortunately, arrest manager does. So keep in mind that uh, a lot of elbows mods do cause frame per second loss. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to use as many mods as you may be using with Stop the Pet. But anyway, this is just for those who want to add a little variety um, to their game. So as you can see in, my, in the background, I will have the links for the mods and the things that are necessary in the description below um i just ask that once again please be sure to like subscribe um as well as share comment down below in case you you know if you discover some something new share with everybody and um let's try to build a community where we can network so anyway this i believe is um uh customized uh sandy shores uh police station uh, i'm not going to get into you know um showing off the station right now i just want to i'm just going to use it for this tutorial so i use menu to access the coordinates so we go up to hud options display xyzh coordinates and as you can see in the top right hand corner we now have our coordinates so the, the three things you need is like I said, you're gonna need the station location, which is where you go on duty at. You're going to need the garage, which is where the car will spawn with you in it. And you're gonna need, and you're going to need the uh, jail drop-off location. So what I prefer, what I what I choose to do is just like they normally do on any of the other stations. So right here at the foot of the steps, this will be where we will uh, go on duty at. So what I do is I, I just use my phone. Um, or you can take a screenshot if you you know if you want to. That's another option. But I use my phone. I take a picture of that location. So I have that picture. So this is going to be. So when I when I when I do LSPDFR and I go right to this the front of the step at this location, I'll get the uh, no, I'll get the um, the notification I guess. Uh, to go on duty choose to go on duty at this and then you know hit the uh, d-pad right on my controller as far as the way I have it set up set up and I'll go on duty you know you go through all the uh, stuff of going into the locker room and all of that stuff the next thing so I use simple trainer for this you can use menu as well but I, I just know the button configuration on my um, controller so the next thing is to spawn the vehicle you know, you need a vehicle to do the coordinates for the um, jail drop off as well as for the garage. So I'm going to use an unmarked cruiser. Okay, we don't want that. I got to turn that music off. All right. All right, let me turn the music off. I don't want, I don't want YouTube to come at me for um, copyright infringement telling me to take the video down. But um, anyway. 
Uh, where we at? Okay, where is the option? Is it not giving me the option? Do I? I hope I don't have to be in the vehicle. Vehicle option. Okay, vehicle options. And we go to default radio station. Turn the radio off. And let me just save that. So, I, you know, so I don't keep having this problem. Okay, we wait for this to save. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So for my, what I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the police garage will be here, in this spot. So every time I, when I go on duty and I go to the garage, I pick the car. This is where I will spawn within the car, at this station. So let me take a picture of the coordinates. So I got that. And next for the jail drop off. Let's just make it one space behind. We'll put it right here. So at this coordinates, once we put this in, and the jail drop-off coordinates, you'll see, go within um, arrest manager. You can put them in um, LSPDFR um, within the agency. Out, you, you'll see that shortly within the agency file, but you won't like i said you you'll see the icon the jail the jail drop off icon but when you go to that location it will not um it will not do the arrest function um like arrest manager so just keep that in mind all right so we're gonna go out of the game let's get out of the game and we'll go into the files all right so i like to give credit so of course the station that we're using, I already have it set up, so I'll put the links down below. Within you can get this, you can download this um, police station. It's custom Sandy Shores Police Department, single player, 5M, and menu options. <clears throat> you can download this on GTA 5's GTA 5 mods.com. And this is Blue Angel 6 who created this uh, beautiful station. I'm using the Y map right now which is the uh, single player Y map and I just dropped that into a custom DLC to uh, load up so just so you know so that that's what we're using right now so moving on these are the two files you're going to need you're going to need your stations XML which is in LSPDFR and you're going to need the jail drop-offs XML which is an arrest manager so let me just I'll show you where these are located so you go into your Grand Theft Auto your Rockstar Grand Theft Auto folder LSPDFR you're gonna go into data and stations it's the uh, bottom XML and this will open up so you'll see I have a bunch of stations because I have a bunch of stations that I use and that I turn out from and keep in mind, even I set up all these stations, but, you know, to be easy on my frames per second, you can't have everything loaded up in the game. Just keep that in mind. Even with the pack file um, adjuster, the heap adjuster, and a good game config, you still don't want to over, you know, put too much onto the game, too much stress onto the game. That's just my advice. So depending on what I what I need, I, I'll put it in the game. If I don't need it, and I, I don't plan on using it for that patrol, I take it out. There's no need to have it in there. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And um, so and also, you know, I, I guess I'm gonna have to put that at the bottom of my uh, the, at the bottom of the description for um. I just did another tutorial about downloadable content so just keep that in mind you, you gotta have a good game config it's good to put the heap adjuster in there as well as putting in the um pack file limiter okay and then the next file you're going to need is arrest manager you go into arrest manager which is within plugins lspdfr arrest manager jail drop off and you open this up and this is these are the locations where you see the prison icons, the icons for the uh, jails, jail drop-offs. So I, I have my own. I have a few customized in there as well, once again. So 
I'm just showing you this as like I said for the tutorial. And this one I'm gonna I'm, gonna, I'm adding this station because who knows I may use it. Why not? You know you never know. I may use it in the video. You never know. So that's where those are located, and you know. And one other thing I want to, and just for those who are curious as far as the, let me just go to this. Uh, da, 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 da. Who are curious? Uh, I am using a Notepad Notepad Plus Plus that to open this up. Uh, I, I find it to be you know really easy and, and simple when it comes to editing um, any type of note files. So there we go with that. All right. So I guess I I can close this out for now. We don't need we don't need nothing. We don't need anything else in that folder. Okay. Now that we have our coordinates, we're going to start with the station first. Okay, I'm going to add the station at the bottom. And um, all I pretty much do, you, you'll see there are already stations within this fold, within this file. So it's real simple. You're just going to copy and paste and edit a couple, you, and you're going to edit the coordinates. Okay, so I'm going to add this one down here. I could have used this uh, Vespucci, it's the same thing. Uh, but let me just show you. Um, one of the ones at the top have it. Uh, where is it? Okay. My, my highway patrol has a drop-off position. So like I said, it gives you the option for the drop-off position. But like I said, once you if you go to that icon and you don't have arrest manager installed and you don't have the coordinates within arrest manager, it's not going to do the uh, prisoner drop-off scene or the prisoner drop-off. It's not going to do anything. You're, you're just going to see the icon. That's it. All right. So keep that in mind. So we're going to paste this down here. Okay. We're going to give it a name. So we're going to call this Sandy Shores. Okay. HQ for headquarters. Well, it looked like a headquarters, right? So we'll, we'll call this Sandy Shores HQ. And the next thing you want to do is, I, I always forget the, um, I think it's LSSD. Yeah, okay. So LSSD is the agency. So that, that's Los Santos Sheriff's, De Sheriff's Department. So we'll put LSSD. Then you have to give it a script name. Okay. So you, you have to give each one its own unique script name. So we'll call this Sandy HQ. All right, each, as you can see, each thing, it, it has to, I think I should put it in lowercase, right? Yeah, let me put it in lowercase, Sandy HQ. Okay, so we're good on that. So the first set of coordinates, these are for the position of the uh, station where, where you want to go on duty at. So we said, you know, I chose the location of the, the front steps so we're going to enter those coordinates you enter them just as you you know took a picture of or, or wrote them down whatever you choose to do so 2035 <clears throat> excuse me 7128 you could leave the f i leave the f uh, it doesn't you know i don't think it affects anything really um because on the, you'll see on the arrest manager that you know on, on uh, elbows he doesn't use the f so it's no, I don't think it's a big deal. Three, four, five, eight, but you just want to follow the same procedure um, that you have in front of you. So forty-three point seven six one six. Okay, so that is where you go on duty. Also add the heading, which is the last series of the last series of uh, series of coordinates, which is the uh, eleven point zero five. Nine five zero five nine five. Okay, there we go. So that is where we'll go on duty at. Then the garage spawn position. This is what I was telling you about. This is where the car will spawn after you go to the garage and choose a car. So we're gonna put two zero three three point five two zero six. And like I said, it's very important that you take that position while you're in a vehicle. It just helps the uh, coordinates a lot better. 54.0979. Okay. 
Okay, and the third is 43.4544. And the last is the header, which is 138.0466. Okay, so we have that, and we go ahead and save the file. Next, <clears throat> we're going to go into the Albo file. So, like I said, same thing. I, I, you know, I have a boat jail drop off, so I'm, I'm going to copy this. This is for a land vehicle. Or it's already set up for a land vehicle. I'll show you show you the difference. But uh, let's enter this. So this is Sandy HQ HQ. Okay, so the difference is so. If it has if it has sale cells, excuse me, what that means is when you do the jail drop off, it'll give you the prompt for whether or not whether or not you want to do it yourself, or do you want another officer to take take the um the prisoner inside? Because if you take it in your, yourself, it's gonna go to the cutscene of the mission row uh, jail. So even though, you know, we, we are in a different station, but it's going to show you the Mission Row uh, jail, jail cells location. So that's what it means by it has cells um, and the cutscene. The cutscene will show the, you know, if you pass it off to another officer, it'll show you that little cutscene where the, the other officer drags the guy out the car. And that's that. Um, AI drop off is... If you hand the arrest over to somebody else, of course, it will allow uh, the transport vehicle to head to this location if it's one of the closest locations um, within distance for the uh, transport vehicle. Air vehicles, helicopters can land here for a j as a jail drop-off. Um, and water vehicles. If you uh, put a, you know, if you had water around and for a boat, It'll, it'll allow you to do a jail drop off for boats. But for us, we're just going to do ground vehicles. Even though this station does have a helicopter landing, I'm going to just stick with the uh, for ground vehicles. I don't do too many prisoner transports <laughs> in helicopters, via helicopter. So that's what that stuff means. So anyway, let's start off with the X. It's going to be 2033. Point fifty two zero six. Then we have the Y, which is going to be thirty four fifty four point zero nine seven nine, and the Z coordinate is going to be forty three point forty five forty four, and the heading. It's going to be 138.0466. And those are all the coordinates entered. I might have it backwards, matter of fact. Yeah, hold on a second. I put the wrong coordinates in there. I put the coordinates for the um, parking. So let me change that. Hold on a second. Two zero three nine point thirty seven zero one. Then we have thirty four fifty seven point seventeen ninety seven. Bear with me, y'all. And then we have forty three point forty forty five. And last but not least, we have 111.1675. Okay, there we go. Save, and we should be good to go. So we're going to actually, if, we, if the game doesn't spawn me on duty, we're going to go on duty at that location. All right, so I'm going to start my game up. And I will see you once the game is loaded. Okay, perfect. All right, so my game loaded up. Um, we're not inside LSPDFR, which is great. So we're going to go to the location. So as you can see, we now have 
the police station ID location right here, logo. Okay, that's where we added our new station at. So we're gonna teleport over there. Yeah, sure. I had a great time. So too. I used I used menu to teleport. <clears throat> so as you can see, we are at that location, and uh, it should give us the option to go on duty here. So we're gonna go on duty at the headquarters. So it's gonna be the same cutscenes as normal. So we're gonna go on duty. Hopefully my game doesn't crash for some particular reason. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so I'm just gonna keep, I'm not gonna go through all the motions um, as far as dressing the guy and all that stuff. I'm, I'm gonna go to the garage. So it's gonna be the same cutscene for the garage, but we'll choose the sheriff's department since we're out here in Sandy Shores. So we will select and continue. And there we go. So we spawn in front of the station. We're now on duty. So I'm going to arrest somebody real quick or quickly. See if we can find somebody to arrest. And I just want to show you that the jail drop off does work. And it will also, what's good with, uh, let me just pause this to say this. But it's, what's also good is um, with the elbow mod. And I believe also with LSPDFR, because that's now a new station drop-off. And as you can see, within that location on the map, uh, let me let me get closer with my map. You see it has given us the option as a jail drop-off. It's now there. Okay, so what ha what also was good is when you make an arrest, and if you're in this area, and if the game or Elbow's Mod determines this to be the closest, you can hit that, you can hit whatever your key button is or key binding um to go to the nearest jail drop off and it should take you to this location okay but well, we're gonna arrest somebody quickly yeah i know you didn't do anything but i i gotta arrest you i hope you don't put us on a pursuit <laughs> it'd be my luck okay so let's go ahead and get him Let's go ahead and get this guy out the vehicle. Be stupid. I want to kill you. Okay. Let get down. Don't fucking move. Man, why I got to be the brother? <laughs> I'm only playing. Okay, so there we go. Right, so Woo! go on, man. Okay, uh, let's do the quick grab. Wow, this guy tried to go on, man. Go on, man. Go on, man. All right, so my game is go on, man. I guess I'm gonna have to put um. I guess I'm gonna have to put, I didn't put the uh, 0.47 LSPDFR in my game yet, I don't know. But certain things been acting kinda bonkers. But uh, here we go. Fuck that shit. Go on, man. Go ahead and get in that car, man. Okay, what are you doing? Go on, man. All right, so hold on a second. Let me see. Uh, go on, man. All right, my game, of course, when I need it to work properly. Okay, there we go. Did stop the pad. And he won't get into the car, of course. All right, let's see if we can let this guy go. Try to find somebody else. 
10-4. Go on, man. I watched my game probably crash because of that, but let's see if we can find somebody else quickly. On Smoke Tree Road. Copy that. We're moving right now. And of course, the truck wants to get into a pursuit. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this works. Just taking all my arrests, huh? All right, let's see if we can put him in the car. Finally, okay. So let's take him back to the precinct. So let's see, let's press zero. Wait, three. Ten four. Alright, so I think that's LSPDFR. Or, or no no, that's stop the pad. So let me get rid of that one. Okay. But anyway, we're here. I can't remember none of my key bindings right now. So if we pull up to where we place the jail drop off and it'll do the uh, jail drop off and get rid of the prisoner. And that's that. So even though it took a minute for me to show you the um, jail drop off, but that's that's it in a nutshell. So once again, Elliot Grant signing off. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification button so you know when all my new videos drop um, and comment. Let me know if I can assist you with the game. Uh, I probably will be working on a, a LSPDFR 0.47 installation video next for those who are, you know, just getting into LSPDFR. Uh, be sure to um, check out my LSPDFR series. I will be doing my own real life series, which is a GTA 5 of Life. Uh, be sure to check for that. And, you know, let me know your thoughts and your opinions. And I'm going to try to, you know, bring you some dope content, all right? Elliot Green signing off. Take care. Be safe.